Shalom and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This vlog is about my day in Aswan where we went to the Filet Temple, the dam built by King Nasser, and also we went to the unfinished obelisk and obelisk, obelisk I think actually, and these are the big tall towers, the big tall stone towers, and so we went to a quarry where they would have carved the big rocks out, and yeah, check it out. Good morning, day four. We just took the overnight train to Aswan, and yep, we're here. We just rode on the train for 12 hours. This is a great time. Rock on, Aswan Station. We're here. The first thing we did was go to this granite quarry, and this is where the Egyptian kings and queens used to come and get building materials for their temples. And so the biggest one, which you can see here, was um, made by Queen Hatshepsut. And it's actually the largest obelisk, but it's unfinished because there was a crack in it, so they never actually finished it, took it out, and put it up at the temple. And just a fun fact, the reason they knew this was Queen Hatshepsut's was they found a cartouche with her name Hello, on it. Hello, we are here in the van Aswan. in Aswan. Here we go. And we just got, um, we just left the quarry where we saw an obelisk. And now we're going to the Filet Temple and to go see a dam. How are you feeling, Grace? Hot bucket. <laughs> Here we are at the High Dam, which was originally built by King Nasser. He started building it. And over here, I'll show you the Nasser Lake, and behind me flows the Nile River. And it's actually crazy, I'll have to look up biblical passages later, but the Bible talks about Egypt flooding, and our tour guide talked about how Egypt fully flooded until there was another dam that was first built, but then this also, so, so cool. Before the original dam was built, Egypt normally flooded. And so there was originally a first dam, but then this dam built by King Nasser opened up in 1971. And now it still today protects Egypt from flooding. And this lake is in the south end of Egypt. And this really is where the Nile starts flowing, flowing north. Here is Nasser Lake. And this lake is shared by Sudan and Egypt. So way on the other side is Sudan. Cool. But the fun fact is that the Nile River runs from south to north. So we are the southest part and we're gonna run up to the north part of Egypt with the Nile. Woo! Woo! Lake Nasser was beautiful and we actually got to take a little boat across to the Philae Temple which was constructed during the Greek and Roman times by the Romans for the god Isis, the god of love and beauty. And it's so crazy to me that the Greeks and Romans would build a temple for Egyptian gods when the Greeks have their own gods. But really it is very similar to King Herod rebuilding the second temple. The Roman Empire was I guess you could say kind to the people. They didn't want the people to be angry with them. They wanted to have the people respect them even though they were ruling over them. So the Romans built a lot of temples for the Egyptians. On a riverboat, on the Nile. All right, so behind us, where's that? Grace's head. Uh, <laughs> right? Wait, is it? It's really underwater. Yep, yeah, there it is. <laughs> is an island called Filet Island, and that is originally where the temple <laughs> that we're at right now it was. Okay, so 1967, they moved it because they built the dam that we were just at, and this area now flooded. So, as you can see, the island is basically underwater. So it's a good thing they moved this temple. Thank you to UNESCO in 1967. <laughs> This temple is built out of granite and sandstone. Right now we are in the Philae temple, which was built for the god of Isis. And we are here in the Holy of Holies. This, room, this temple has many rooms, and here is the altar where they would have made sacrifices to Isis. And so then you go out into another room. And his wife Isis. And another room. It's very similar to the Jewish temple almost. They have the Holy of Holies and then only the high priest could go in there and then there's all these other rooms. And this is the final room. It's also cool they have the 
pillars with the, what are they called? The capitals that I learned about in my architecture class. These Egyptian temples for the Egyptian gods are very beautiful, but doesn't stand to God's temple, which is ourselves. God's temple is in us. God's spirit dwells in us. And so I'm just going to play you my new favorite worship song, which is actually an old song, but I hope you enjoy. temple to the god of isis behind me and now we go back to the boat oh. we took this little boat back to the land where we got on a big boat a cruise ship where we spent the next three days i hope you enjoyed my favorite song and here's another one of my favorite songs i think you're trying to tell us Dinner on the cruise was a buffet, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you know me, I loved it, and I indulged in the dessert portion. On our cruise, and it's dinner time, look what we got. And then they even had a show that night. so much for watching i hope you enjoyed remember to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't you can turn on the notifications by clicking on that little bell and like this video and i'll see you next time bye